Welcome to Expertizer Academy. This is the lecturer in physics. In this video, we will discuss about the current carrying loop as a magnetic dipole. Current carrying loop as a magnetic dipole. Look at this. This is the current carrying loop. This is the current carrying loop. This loop contains two opposite fields A B. The radius of the current carrying loop that is small u. I is the current flow through this loop. There are two different parts of the fields that is A B. These two fields goes through A some point P with the field lines. At this field, we have observed the magnetic field. Magnetic field. So here, X is the distance between origin point of the circular loop to point P. With respect to point A, with respect to point B, these two points are two different parts of the fields at the circular loop. Okay. With respect to B, we have dV cos phi and a dV sin phi. Horizontal part of the magnetic field, vertical part of the magnetic field with respect to point B. With respect to point A, we have dV dash cos phi, dV dash sin phi. Sin values always passing through x axis, cos values always passing through y values. Okay. Here, the final result of the this loop, the magnetic field generated at point B that is, is equal to B is equal to magnetic field B is equal to mu naught n i a square divided by 2 into a square plus x square whole power 3 by 2. So this is the magnetic field. The magnetic induction at a point along the axis of a circular coil carrying current. Magnetic induction or magnetic field. So the direction of this magnetic field is along the axis and is given by right hand rule. The direction of this magnetic field is along the axis is given by right hand rule. The points which are far away from the center of the points. X is double greater than A, A square is small and it is negligent. Hence, for such points, see here the distance between origin of the coin to point P, that is X. This X is very, very greater than when compared to radius on the loop. Radius on the loop. X is double greater than A. Is double greater than a, so that's why x square and a square in these two values, x square is very, very greater than value, a square is very, very small value, so that's why neglect the a square value in this equation. So, after neglecting the a square, this is the final result. Okay, magnetic induction b is equal to mu naught ni a square divided by. 2x cube. If we consider a circular loop, m is equal to 1. For example, the loop number is 1. Its area capital A is equal to 5a square. Area of the loop that is equal to 5a square. Okay. So that's why here capital B is equal to mu naught. m is 1. I into a at the place of a square, 
we are given the value a divided by pi. Okay, do not pi a divided by two pi x cube. Two pi x cube. Next, the magnetic induction at a point on the axial line of a short bar magnet is the magnetic induction. At a point along the axial line of a short bar magnet is B is equal to mu naught divided by a pi into 2m divided by x cube. See here, first of all, multiply with 2 and divide with 2. These two values gives 2ia, 2ia divided by 4 pi x cube 4 pi x cube okay. here i a gives capital A magnetization value or magnetic moment i a is the magnetic moment okay. 2m divided by x cube so this is the magnetic induction that is point along the axial line of the short not magnet. Okay. Here B is equal to U naught divided by 2 pi into capital M divided by X cube. Are these two equations we have directly taken this? This is equal to this one, and this one converts into like this, whatever it is, no problem. In compared to 1 and 2, capital M that is equal to I A. Capital M that is equal to I. Okay. So here this equation gives bar magnet. So what is the meaning of the bar magnet? So what is the inner thing, inner concept of the bar magnet? So when this bar magnet is equal to magnetic dipole. So what is the meaning of the magnetic dipole first of all? What is the definition of the magnetic dipole? Magnetic dipole definition is the product of magnetic pole strength, magnetic pole strength, and the, the distance between two different poles in the bar magnet. So, what are the poles in the bar magnet? South to north. South to north. What is the distance between these two poles? 2 into L. 2 L. Okay. The product of two poles strength that is QM pole strength that is QM into QL. So magnetic dipole it is nothing but a product of Q into QL. Okay. So here magnetic dipole is generated by using the bar magnet. Magnetic dipole is generated by using the bar magnet. So here so get the relation that is magnetic induction capital B is equal to mu naught IA divided by 2 pi x cube. This is the magnetic induction value from circular loop. This is the magnetic induction value from the bar magnet. Here the bar magnet is acting as a magnetic dipole. Why? Because here this bar magnet contains two different poles and also pole strength. Two different poles distance into pole strength that gives magnetic dipole. So that's why this bar magnet induction, magnetic field induction, or this magnetic induction. So both are comparing. We get the relation capital M that is equal to I into A. So this is the magnetic moment. This is the magnetic moment. From the circular coil, we got the magnetic moment equation that is capital M is equal to I into A. So that's why this current loop measured or acted as a magnetic dipole. So in this video, we discuss about information of the magnetic dipole and a circular coil. So this is the 
the information about circular wheel as a magnetic type. So thanks for watching this video. For more videos, visit www.exercisingacademy.com.